All right, so we're here with Big Chief talking about everything there is in terms of Street Outlaws, some of the internet's most dying questions, the stuff that boils the blood of the fans is the stuff we're going to be discussing here today. And the very first question right off the bat, which I get asked all the time, is why wasn't the 405 on Fastest in America? Nice to meet you too, bro. <laughs> oh, shoot. Sorry, I just wanted to dive right into it. God, man, as soon as, I, as soon as we turn the computer on, he's asking me about the uh, fastest in America. What's your name? Hi, I'm Justin. I'm Samuel. Samuel, that's your name, Samuel? Yeah. Uh, does everybody call you Sam? Yeah, it was like a neighborhood nickname growing up, and it just kind of stuck for the YouTube thing. Right on. Okay, cool. Well, uh, I'm my neighborhood nickname is Chief, as you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you very much for allowing me uh, the opportunity to connect with your channel and your fans. Uh, I think this is really cool. I think we should do more of this stuff. And um, it's tough because I don't like to do interviews and I don't, <laughs> I don't do interviews uh, unless somebody tells me to. So, um, but yeah, as far as, uh, yeah, we'll get right into your question here. So as far as it goes with the America's, what's it called? Fastest, oh shoot, you don't even know. Fastest in America. <laughs> No, I just wanted to hear you say it again. Fastest in America, huh? Well, <laughs> I see so what, what you did. What there. is your? Uh, what's the question? Why weren't we on it? Yeah, that's what everyone's wondering. That's what everyone's asking. So everyone's saying, "How can you have the fastest in America without the four hundred five? You can't. Just to be honest, I mean, everybody knows me. Everybody knows I'm going to be honest. They, they know I, I'm. I'm going to be real. So uh, hopefully, I don't get too much trouble for this, but. <laughs> You can't have the fastest street race shootout in America without the fastest street racers in America. And everybody knows that the 405, you know, has the fastest street race cars in America. We've proven it over and over and over again. Um, you can't have the Super Bowl without the fastest. Or, you know, you can't have the Super Bowl without the best player, without yeah. the best team, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Um, but it's it's two different entities, you know? Um, just, uh, man, I'm going to get in so much trouble. <laughs> if you don't want it, we can skip over it. Because what I had heard and from no, what... No, no, that's not how I roll. I, 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 uh, the question needs to be answered. You're right. You're, you're 100% right. That's the reason why I'm doing this is because the the fans want to know these questions and they never really get answered. Everybody stumbles around them and they, you know, they try and move on from them as fast as possible. I am stumbling my ass off around this one. Uh, <laughs> I was kind of hoping this one wouldn't come till later in the interview, but uh, <laughs> let's, get, let's, let's do it. So uh, here's how that went down. Um, I knew nothing about it. Uh, and this... Anything that I say only goes for me. You know, I can't speak for all the other guys on the show or on our show or their show or whatever. Um, all I can tell you is my experience and, and with that uh, show or whatever. So I knew I knew nothing about America's Fashion Street Racers. I didn't know they were doing it. I didn't know what it was called. Um, I didn't know any of that. I was actually, Jackie had... Uh, told me that there was uh, some guys on social media looking for big tire street race cars that would be willing to race for a bunch of money. And uh, that's me. You know, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm that guy. If somebody's asking for, uh, you know, for somebody who wants to race for a bunch of money on the street, that's what I do. Uh, so I started digging around on Facebook. I saw a post um, by... Oh, man. I can't think of the name of the guy who was doing it. Uh, was it one of the guys that was on the show, pre like this most recent one? No, no, no. I'm just, this is the, from the very first America's Fast Street Cars deal. Is that what we're talking about? You're talking about the shootout, the America's Fast Street Race shootout or whatever? The one put on by JJ? Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Okay, yes. That's, that, yes, that's what I'm talking about. So... 
whenever I, so no one told me about it. Um, I wasn't approached by producers or network or anybody like that at the time. Um, no one had approached me about doing that show. Uh, I didn't, I didn't have any contact with JJ at that time. Um, we weren't talking. I'm trying to find the message. So I, whenever I heard that there was some big, big money, big tire street race going on, um, first thing I did was log into Facebook because, you know, that's where everybody figures out all the world's information. <laughs> uh, and now street racing has gotten to the point where everything about street racing is on Facebook all the way down to when it's happening and where it's mm -hmm. happening and everything else. But um, i trying to remember when that was. Because uh, I, want, I, want I want to read you and show you the message so that you can see where I was at on the whole deal. So <clears throat> anyway, it was, a, it was a page, a motorsports or motoring page. It was, it was like a DNR auto. There it is. Boom. Found it. Fuck yeah, hell yeah. Sorry. No, I, yes. it's all good. It's all good. Sorry, sorry. Uh, so DNR Auto had made a post that said that they were looking for the baddest big tire guys that would run on the street for heads up against anything out there for any amount of money and um, to send them a message if, they, if anybody was interested. So... Um, I don't know if you can see this or not. I'm not really good at this stuff. Uh, but DNR Auto. That's who it is. So I messaged them May 27th of 2019. I said, I have the baddest big tire street race car in the world. Please count me in for the street race and I will send lock up money lickety split. Um, this was, at the time, this is the first I had heard of that shootout going down. I didn't know it was televised or that it was going on TV or nothing. I just heard there was a big-ass street race for a bunch of money. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to get my name on the list. Um, they responded with a uh, normal auto response message that said, thanks for messaging us. We will try to be as responsive as possible, blah, blah, blah. But then... I finally got a reply later that day and it said, man, I'm not the one doing it. LOL. I have a friend who is looking to fill spots on his team. And I said, okay, count me in. And then he responded with, it's a discovery thing. And I said, oh, okay, thanks. Does that mean I'm not in? That guy's probably sitting there like, what the heck? It's a race prime by Discovery, and, like, the main guy doesn't even know what the heck it is. And so, yeah, that's kind of the way it went. So then uh, I said, okay, thanks. Does that mean I'm not in? And then I said, either way, if you have any real street races going on for big tire stuff, count me in. Uh, I want a spot. And then he responded back. Uh, at 9.31 p.m. He says, that means I figured you would already be in. Like, I thought, and I'm assuming this guy's a he. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> if it's not, I keep saying he. Uh, and then I said, he said, that means I figured you would already be in. Like, I thought that was a safe assumption since it's a discovery thing. And he said, does this mean you want to be on the PA team? And I'm guessing that means Pennsylvania. <laughs> so I was trying to get a spot on the <laughs> Pennsylvania team to get in this stupid race. And I said, uh, at 9.53 p.m., I was I said, I've heard nothing about it, LOL. I said, I was just looking for a race. And he said, I mean, I can give you the guy's name and number. If the producers will let you race on Pennsylvania's team, it's 100000 to win. And... I was sort of confused, so I didn't respond back right away. So that's when I started doing some digging. I started texting and trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Um, because from my standpoint, television or not, I feel like I'm the baddest dude there is on the street. Uh, and, you know, or at least in my head anyway. <laughs> you know? And 
uh, I win more than I lose. So if there's a big bad street race going on and it's supposed to be the baddest one there is, why wouldn't I get? It? Why wouldn't I be in? You know, or mm-hmm. if I'm not in, I want to make sure I'm in. You know what I mean? So especially if I could win a hundred grand. <laughs> so uh, so then <clears throat> he said, <clears throat> you have to understand why I find it hard to believe that you don't know about it, LOL. So at this point, he thinks I'm trolling him. You know, he thinks mm-hmm. I'm... No, I see I'm, what you mean, yeah. Yeah. And so he said, uh, he said, I don't have a car, and somehow I know about it. So I figured if anybody would know about it, you would know about it, and everyone who's dealt with Pilgrim so far knows about it. And uh, Pilgrim... Uh, is the production company that um, that makes us look so great on TV, and you know uh, they they came in and made us television stars. So uh, this guy who doesn't even have a car and is not in the race, he's he he's dealing. He knows the production company putting it on. Mm-hmm. You know he knows he knows everything about it. And I, I, up until right then, I had known nothing. Like which is tough. It's tough to do all that stuff without me finding out. So, uh, so then I said, I text him back. I said, literally, I haven't heard anything about it. And I said, this is all weird. I said, any idea when and where this is going down? Because it's on television, I'm guessing it must have something to do with the Memphis show. So that's when I was like, well, it's probably a Memphis thing. You know what I mean? It probably something that they're doing or they're putting on and it's probably they're bringing, you know, kind of like when we have before where we brought other teams in and we did street races or whatever. So, you know, once I heard that, I was like, well, if I didn't get invited and, uh, it's in, it's within the same family of production and stuff that I do that I, that I work for. Mm -hmm. So if I didn't get invited, there must be a reason It, it, you know, it must be, it must be something that's not for me. You know what I mean? And uh, I'm not the type of guy to try and go out and take everybody's hustle away from them. Or if there's something going on, I don't want, I mean, I'm not the type of guy that has to be involved in everything. So if uh, JJ and, and his guys are putting something on and it's, you know, and that's what they're doing, I'm not the type of guy who has to be involved in everything. You know what I mean? I don't want all the attention all the time. So I just want to race. So, so at that point, I started thinking, well, you know, maybe it's not for me. Maybe this is something that is uh, being taken the wrong way on the Internet or whatever. Maybe it's not uh, the whole world in this one big race, the whole United States. Maybe it's just more of a Memphis thing. So, uh, so after I said that, he responded back with, yeah, it's definitely a Memphis deal. And now I'm being told that's why you guys weren't invited. I'm sorry. So at that point, I was totally cool with it not being for me. Mm-hmm. You know, I was cool with thinking, you know, maybe it's just not my thing. Maybe it's their thing. Maybe, you know, they have the reasons why they wouldn't invite me. But then when he says that he was told that's why I wasn't invited, well, then it's kind of like, Wait a minute, what? So, so because it's a Memphis deal, you're not going to invite me, but yet, whenever we have races, we invite all the Memphis Yeah, teams. you invite everyone. We invite the fastest dudes there are. Yeah, exactly. That's the point of the show. Right? You know? We, we do, I'm, I'm known for that to a fault. You know? When I hold a cash days, I invite the fastest dudes there are to a fault. Like, it's been my own downfall. I invited... <laughs> Pat <laughs> Kelly, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm, I'm, I go out and search for the baddest dudes there are, so that my races have weight, mm-hmm. you know, so that what I do holds, it holds weight. It, it makes sense, you know. So, uh, then uh, I left it alone and tried to talk myself uh, out of, you know, throwing a big fit about it or whatever. And, uh, then he texts, uh, or he sent me a message back two days later, no contact between now and between the, this time. He sent me a message two days later. It says it was May 31st, uh, 2019. He says, 
JJ just went live on Facebook and said, if you want to show up, you're in. So in between there, those two days that had passed that I hadn't spoke with him, because once I found out that that dude ain't got nothing to do with it and he's just trying to fill a team, mm -hmm. then, you know, uh, then I was done with that guy. So um, I started talking to my own people and uh, I had spoke with Ryan about it. And I said, what do you know about this? You know, and Ryan said, same thing you do. They're rounding up people to for some big race, hundred thousand dollar street race, and we have never done the hundred thousand dollar street race. You know, that's that's that. Um, you know, there's a natural evolution of racing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we started. Uh, I was at the very first cash days, and it was uh, thirteen hundred to win, or you know, something like that. So, there's videos of that. Here, it's just, What's you can't, that? there's videos of that out there, just no one's seen it and you can't see anything in it. People, like, that's the one thing that kind of pisses me off the most. It's all these guys say that you guys are fake. It's like the stuff's out there. It's on YouTube. It's just, it only has like a hundred views. Like no one's actually put the effort in to realize that. Like you said, you've been there literally since the very first one. Yeah, no, look, yes. Yes, luckily I was very fortunate enough to be invited to the very first cash days. Um, that was something that I'm very proud of. And I'm super proud of us as a team back then, before the show even, you know, and uh, the fact that we represented Oklahoma in the very first cash days and we won. Mm -hmm. You know, Dave won with uh, driving Barley's car and we did it as a team. Uh, so that's something I'm very proud of. And, uh, but I'm, I'm very proud of all the cash days that I've been in, you know, I, I, I've never done worth a shit, but I'm, <laughs> sorry, worth that, but, uh, but I'm proud, you know, I've been to the finals a bunch and I've been, you know, I've also had my ass kicked first round by Ronnie Pace, you know what I mean? So, uh, I, 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 but I'm proud of all of them. Um, so, that natural progression, though, you know, you start off paying thirteen hundred to win um, because it's just a hundred dollar entry and there's thirteen cars, mm -hmm. you know, or whatever. And then you take a little spectator money and you give it to the security guys and you take, uh, you know, any donations and you split it up between the winner and the, you know, give the Limpy always wanted to give the uh, the second place guy double his entry, mm -hmm. you know, so. That's, you know, we just ended up with like 13, it may have been 1600, I can't remember, but the natural progression is, you know, the next race is a little more, the next race is a little more, the next race is a little more, and it gives you somewhere to go. Yeah. You know, so we've had, um, we had the first $20,000 race on TV, you know, and then we had a, a 50, uh, I think we had a 40, then we had a $50,000 cash days. Um, JJ actually put on at the time that he did it, uh, here in Oklahoma, he put on the JJ's arm drop, mm -hmm. uh, or I think that's what it was called. It, it was like, it had some long ass name. It was like JJ's arm drop street wars or something like that. It was, it was a yeah, long yeah. name. Everything, everything with JJ's boss has a long ass <laughs> name. It's always like. <laughs> JJ the boss, arm drop, street outlaws, Memphis. JJ the boss. You know, he, he, they 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 got to mention JJ the boss three or four times in, in one sentence. You know, so. Um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, he held that race here in Oklahoma, and um, it was his first uh, thing to do on TV. It was his first race to put on on television. You know, small tire and a big tire class, and. You know, whenever he was putting that together, you know, I was talking to him about it and I was like, if you want it to be big and you want it to be, you want it to hold weight and you want to be known for something, then you have to figure out a way to pay the racers to win, you know, for them to travel across the country and, and go through all the hoops of production and tech and you know, dealing with all the TV so, show stuff, uh, you got to pay them to win. And then 
you have to give them the money at the end. You know, what I mean, you can't <laughs> keep any of it. Like, uh, you can't make any money off of it, and you really need to pay. You need to step the bar up. You know what I mean? So his was like fifty-five thousand. You know what I mean? It was a weird mm-hmm. number because it was, uh, there had been a fifty thousand dollars race before that, and I think uh, Kyle Kelly won that one uh, here in Oklahoma. So JJ wanted. You know, JJ needed to do something a little bit bigger. So he had uh, the JJ's. JJ the Boss, Street Outlaws, uh, Arm Drop, Street War, Cash Days, <laughs> on the Street, JJ the Boss race. And it was uh, 55000 to win. So at the time, that was the most that we had really raced for on the street. So there's that natural progression, you know. Um, I had been to, you know, we went to Bristol for a no prep race, and uh, it, it was supposed to pay 100 um, and all the racers got together before I got there and, uh, they all decided <laughs> to, to, to split the pot a little different. So, yeah. uh, uh, the winner ended up with 60 though. So, you know, there's that natural mm-hmm. 50, 60, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we had the American Outlaws live race. It paid 75,000, you know, so we had been up around that 60, 70,000 range, you know, mm-hmm. but we had, we had never gone to a hundred. Yeah, I made the jump. So we we it just we weren't there yet, you know. We, there wasn't enough at, at the time. There, it's still, right now, to be honest with you, there's not 32 big chiefs, Ryan's, Kai's, uh, Scott Taylor. You know, um, yeah. There's not enough. There's not enough guys to th- to have 32 of them. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's kind of what we've been waiting on is when you can find 32 really bad dudes, you know what I mean? Like no ducks, no stragglers, no, um, no broke cars. No, we're bringing this guy because he's our buddy or our cousin or cause he's super nice or cause he loaned us the trailer to get there or whatever. Like whenever that time was going to come after natural progression and you could get, 32 Kai Kelly's, 32, uh, who's the dude from California with the Z, Nate, uh, you know, 32 crazy, yeah, yeah, Nate. The one with the blower? The, super, the one with the supercharger? Yeah. That came down and raced you guys? Yeah, uh, yeah, he came down and, uh. With, uh, crazy Kelly, ass. right? McDougal, yeah, McDougal kicked his ass at Cougar Tool. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I actually, he's been in street racing a lot longer than everybody knows, though. I actually raced him in California uh, a long time ago, and he crashed the car. Uh, it wasn't his, but it was a really beautiful 67 from our 68, maybe. But anyway, um, when you can get 32 of those, you know, then that's kind of what we've been waiting on to have that $100,000, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean? Like, when there's just, it's it's... There's no doubt that you have the 32 baddest dudes on the planet. You know, uh, I even wanted to bring a couple of dudes over from Sweden. And, you know, like I wanted to, you know, to do the $100,000 race, I wanted to make sure it was there. You know what I mean? And um, so whenever I heard about this one, I was like, dang, they're having the hundred. They're doing the $100,000 deal. They're doing the big one and they didn't invite you. And they didn't invite me, you know, like, nobody likes me. I don't want me at the <laughs> party, you know? So, yeah, I feel like I feel like the kid's still standing there after everybody gets picked in dodgeball, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so I had, uh, I have a lot, you know, I have a lot of people that I uh, talk to about stuff, and um, some of them are super level-headed, and, and some of them aren't, you know? Um, when I talk to my family, you know, they say, show up there and burn that mother down. You know? mm-hmm. uh, but I talked to Ryan and, uh, and so he said that he had heard a little bit about it too. And uh, I said, well, what can we do here? You know, like it's not a street race. So we can't just show up, you know, normally we just show up and, and they'd have to let us in because we're there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, 
what are you going to do? Turn us away? You know, like we're standing here with a bunch of money in our pocket. You got to let us in. But this deal is different. This is a, you know, this is part of Memphis's television program. So, um, and it's under the same production company and, and on the same network on the same night as our show. So we don't want to, you know, mess with that any. We don't want to piss off any of those people or we don't want to hurt JJ's show. We don't want to hurt our own show. We don't want to hurt the production company. We don't want to hurt the numbers. We don't we don't want to, you know, fuck everything up for everybody. So what do we do? And uh and Ryan, Ryan said, man, I want to race in it. And I said, well, yeah, me too. I said, I'm, I'm trying to get on the Pennsylvania team you know, <laughs> just, just so I can race in it. And uh, uh, a couple of the other guys from here had called me also. Um, Derek, you know, uh, Derek Travis. Mm -hmm. So he called me with the Silver Third Gen. He said, hey, he's like, I want in on the 405 team for this America's Fastest. And I was like, <laughs> We don't have a team, man. You know, like we don't we don't have a parking spot or nothing on this deal. Like we can't even spectate, you know. So, uh, and I was starting to get, I was trying to keep from because I have real bad anger issues, and and uh, so I was trying to keep from getting mad, you know, because when I get mad, I make stupid decisions. So uh, that's why I was talking to Ryan because Ryan's really good about keeping a level head, you know, and. Uh, He's really smart about that stuff. So he was like, well, I want to race in it. And he said, it just doesn't, he's like, man, it just doesn't feel you know, something that I'll never forget that he said, because I've always kind of had my doubts on whether or not Ryan, uh, you know, is a hundred percent street or if he was doing it because it's the cool thing to do now, you know, mm -hmm. um, I've known Ryan for a long time, but he was, you know, any street race here and there, but he's never really super into it. Like, you know, so, I was always kind of on the fence about whether or not Ryan was doing it for the right reasons or for the same reasons that I'm doing. So, but when he said that, he said, he said, man, he said, chief, it just doesn't feel right. Like he said, it, it does, it doesn't feel right for their, for them to be able to have this race and us not be there. And he's like, and even more than that, it, it feels even worse to know that there's a hundred thousand dollar street race going down and I'm not racing it, you know? So when he said that, dude, that hit me hard. So I was like, damn, you know, if Ryan feels that way, you know what I mean? Then it can't be all, it can't be just me, you know, like there's something there. It has to be. So we, uh, and a lot of this stuff I'm probably not supposed to talk about, you know, and I'm probably, <laughs> This may be the last time you guys ever see me on, uh, well, I, that, YouTube will always be there, right? Yeah. So, you, uh, YouTube's always going to be here. Yeah. And the TV I show's mean, gone. I, I may not have the money to get, have a laptop anymore after they fire me, but uh, <laughs> I can come on your show or something. But So anyway, you know, we didn't know what to do. And uh, I remember standing out in front of my house, man, and I was talking to Ryan on the phone for hours trying to figure out, you know, why we weren't involved. And um, eventually, you know, you can only do so much on your own without you start making those phone calls and figuring stuff out. Um, at the time that this happened, uh, me and JJ weren't cool. Uh, so it wasn't the type of situation where I could just call JJ and say, you know, what the hell, dude? Like, how are you going to, how are you going to have this race and not let us in on it, you know, or not give us a spot or something. You don't have to give us 10 spots, but you know, give us three, four, five, you know what I mean? Give us a spot so that our top guys off the list can go or whatever. And we, but me and JJ, we weren't, we weren't really, uh, cool at that point in time. So, um, he didn't reach out to me. I didn't reach out to him. So, Ryan uh, had the idea that, you know, hey, we need to we need to make sure that we go about this the right way. So um, we, he contacted uh, the people in charge of, you know, of our lives, basically, and uh, told them that me and him wanted to race in it, you know, and 
that's when they told us the format of how it was going down. We didn't even know there was like, you know, all the different teams that like I had heard there, obviously there was a Pennsylvania team, but I didn't know any of the other stuff, you know? So Ryan called me back and he's like, Hey man, okay, this is the, this is the format. This is how it's going down. And, uh, it's a team based deal. And, you know, you race until there's one team left and that team races Memphis and you get a hundred thousand dollars. And you, but your team has to have, you know, eight, 10, 11 people on it or whatever. So I was like, man, it sounds like I got to make, you know, 19 passes on my shit, uh, before I get the money. And then when I get the money and I split it with my team, I'm going to get like 7,500 bucks. Yeah. You know? So it was like, uh, there wasn't a whole lot of incentive there other than, just the fact that it's a hundred thousand dollar street race, mm-hmm. you know, like we didn't even know at the time that it was being called America's fastest street race or whatever. Like, um, at that time it didn't have that. It didn't, I don't know if it had a name at all. It, they were calling it JJ's arm drop, same thing they did in Oklahoma city. So, which made me even more upset. Cause I'm like, dude, I won the first ever JJ's arm drop. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So like I should, you know, surely I should at least get like a, something you know like a postcard or something so we're doing it again you know like you went in or not like so uh after talking and i'm sorry i'm a i'm dragging this out but uh there's just so much bullshit out there about this there's so much rumors there's so much mm-hmm. you know, fake shit and everybody has their own opinion and they want to say that we didn't get invited or they want to say that uh we got invited but what oh yeah but we got invited but we're scared or we're uh, we won't race on blacktop or whatever. There's so many fucking different reasons why people come up with that we didn't go to this race. And none of them make any sense, you know. So um, that's why I'm I'm trying to lay it out there as best I can and open and honestly so that this question, you know, hopefully, man, with your help, this question will never get asked, asked again. Hey, hopefully. Right? Like, that that yeah, saved me a lot because I get DMs yeah, on yeah. Instagram all the time. Why isn't the 405 on fastest in America? I'm like, I'm asking the same questions you're asking. Yeah, so if me and you right now, we release this video, you put this video out there into the YouTube world or whatever, that maybe this will never get asked again. So I'm going to try and make sure to cover every bit of it. But so after learning about the format and learning about what the race was, uh, and then we were told that there was some traveling involved and... Uh, and we were, uh, we were told about some of the other teams and it was kind of an odd scenario because at the time I was getting ready for my no prep King debut. Um, so, you know, uh, those texts, those messages on Facebook were at the end of May, so May 31st. And to my first no prep Kings race uh, that I was in was St. Louis, which was June. Right. So, you know, I was preparing the car for the no prep, uh, for my no prep debut or whatever you want to call it. But so there was a lot going on at the time. Um, and the format didn't make a whole lot of sense, you know? And so then, uh, when we got, so Ryan got another phone call from another person that, you know, runs the world. And they said, here's the deal. You guys are, you know, you're our boys. We love you. We don't want you to think that we're, you know, not inviting you or, or whatever. Uh, but you, you do need to know that it's a Memphis show. Um, it's not a, a an OKC show. It's a Memphis show. And whether you win or lose, it's still a Memphis show. So um, I don't know how to say it. Like, no matter what happens, they're going to do it with or without us again. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because it's not our show. So even if we win, they could do it again and, you know, and we not go. So there was a lot of stuff that we had to weigh and think about. And the producers said, and and I'll be flat out honest with you. The producers told us straight up, 
it was June. It was right first week of June. Producer said, "If you want to go, and you guys want to bring a team, then we will push it through. We'll we'll make it happen." Uh, which was cool because then I was like, "Well, hell yeah!" You know, now we mm-hmm. got a shot. Now we've got there and won the money. Um, but then when we heard about the schedule, it was a lot. It was a lot. So, and then we were uh, we were given the recommendation that we think about it because what do we have? What, what do we stand to win? What do we stand to lose? You know, uh, the pros and cons, the whole deal. Because there's a lot of business that goes into this TV show stuff that I don't understand. You know, so um, I'd go race for seventy five bucks. You know, if if I got to say I was America's fastest street racer, you know, so, uh, but there's a lot of other business stuff that we had to think about and the, the, the schedule, uh, and being able to commit to, if we made it to the finale, go, you know, maybe traveling somewhere else or whatever. So there was a lot of stuff going on. Uh, it was recommended to us that no prep Kings was on air. We were filming the street show. Uh, and it looked like at the time we were going to be on TV a lot, like back to back. Yeah. It was going to be no prep Kings, street outlaws, street outlaws, Memphis, no prep Kings, street outlaws. So, you know, it it all looked like we were going to be, you know, working ourselves to death. So when the recommendation came down from above that we could do it if we wanted, but we had to really think about whether it was worth it. Um, and obviously it was too late in the game to get in on uh, any of the talent negotiations or budget or travel or anything like that. So, you know, uh, whereas usually in television, when you are filming a big event or something like that, uh, usually there's something that helps you get there and helps you get home. Mm-hmm. So, uh, it was too late in the game for that. And it was blacktop, you know, it was going to take a lot of work to get the cars ready in a very short amount of time. So we had to make a decision and we had to make a decision quick. And at the recommendation of those that are a lot smarter than us in the game, it was, it's a Memphis thing. Let it be a Memphis thing. You know what I mean? Don't, you know, don't go trying to be petty and come over here and jump in this just because, uh, you know, just because you guys are missing the streets right now or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, so it was the, it was extremely tough. And I sat there on the phone with Ryan and I said, what do you want to do, man? Like, what do you want to do? He goes, I want to do it. And I said, well, I do too. And he said, okay. And he said, but he's like, there's like three or four cars I'm not going to mention any names, but there was three or four cars that uh, at the last No Prep King event before that, uh, which was up northeast somewhere, had tore their shit up real bad. So, you know, we weren't sure they were going to get them back together or that they were going to get them back together in, in time to have any testing before doing the America's Master Street Car deal. So um, everybody can say whatever the fuck they want, but it was our decision not to go as bad as it sucks to say that like you know it it fucking hurts to say that i don't want to say that but you know it was uh it just just didn't it just wasn't lining up nothing was working out so you know at the recommendation of everybody else and and what we had to do you know we had to make the decision that we were going to sit this one out and oh, God. then obviously there was a bunch of uh yeah i'm doing stuff I'm making a video sorry i need to make dinner you need to go oh, i'm sorry i'm getting kicked out of my kitchen is that your roommate no it's my mom yeah i'm stuck at home this is mom, roommate <laughs> sorry i gotta move to my room now I was, but that's essentially what I had heard. 
that the reason why you guys didn't end up going was that it was kind of like a last second thing and that it just wouldn't end up working out. All right. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm not... I'm not, uh, I'm not going to blame it on anybody else. I'm not going to say that, you know, it was that they went to the last minute to let us know or anything like that. Like, that's not me. You know, last minute to me is in the water box, you know. So uh, I could have fucking went. That, but I'm going to add it. seasons everyone was constantly telling me how bad i was going to get my ass kicked or saying that if i showed up i would lose and i or that i wouldn't make it past first round or that you know that my car was outdated and i didn't have enough horsepower and all that stuff so you know i had gotten into my uh, feelings a little bit out on it and i wanted to prove you know all that wrong so i wanted to do good in no prep so uh and i was fucking broke you know like everybody thinks that you know i'm a bajillionaire or whatever but you know at that time last year i was super broke and <laughs> no prep kings was paying 40 grand to win a month you know what i mean like so i had a race in st louis uh the next week and it was paying 40 grand and you know i felt like i could make more money for me and my team and my car by winning a no prep event than i could by winning a, a uh, a race on the Memphis show and go home with seven grand or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, but at some point during all that, just so that I don't skip over this or forget to mention this, uh, uh, cause no matter what problems me and JJ have personally, at some point during all of that, when all that was going on, me and Ryan were talking about it and, you know, trying to figure out what was going on at some point, JJ, addressed it jj which is kind of weird because you know i'm sure jj was a part of it the whole time you know he was putting the race on you know what i mean and he was uh he was inviting the teams and being being a part of it so uh, but he but once he heard that we were actually you know thinking about it or that we were wanting to do it then uh there's a few days later that he uh, had went, and like that guy said uh, in the message on Facebook, he said that JJ had went live and said that we could race, if we showed up, that we would be in. <clears throat> so, you know, to say that we weren't invited, it's not totally true. You know what I mean? Like everybody says that, it's not totally true. To say that Discovery Channel didn't let us do it or to score that we, uh, you know, that we weren't invited or that we weren't allowed or whatever that's all bullshit too you know just to be honest and it hurts dude it hurts because i'm i'm i feel like i'm a street as, as the whole world i feel like i'm street to the core you know but uh just to be honest with you we just didn't fucking do it you know like i, I made a decision at that point in time that uh, it just wasn't the best for me and my team and my car and uh, and I needed to make money, you know, so no prep Kings was 40 grand a pop, you know, plus, you know, whether people believe me or not, I, I get paid zero to do no prep Kings. Absolutely zero. So the only way I was making money, we weren't filming the street show. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm not working on cars. <laughs> like, all I'm doing is racing. So the only way that I get paid is if I win. So, I could spend, you know, a month doing this America's fastest thing, racing on, you know, shit roads against guys who a lot of them have never street raced before and take a risk of losing another car or getting hurt or whatever, uh, 
at the thought of winning 7,500 bucks or six grand or whatever I'd end up with after fees and everything else. Um, so, you know, I just had to do what was best for me at the time. And it, uh, it sucks. Everybody wants to say, you know, and all the other guys, they can say whatever they want. You can choose to believe their reasoning behind whatever. I don't care. It, it, it's got nothing to do with me. Why any of the other guys on the show didn't go, but just to let, you know, just so that we're clear, me and you right now, like, uh, I just didn't fucking go, you know, that's all there is to it. JJ put it out there that if we showed up, we could race and discovery channel, did nothing to stop us or, you know, the production company didn't say we couldn't go. Like they didn't say they didn't want us to go. None of that. It was, it was just on us. You know, if we would have had our shit together on the street and had our ear to the street at that point in time, we would have heard about that race before it even got kicked off and we'd have been, you know, involved. But there was a points championship that the 405 was trying to win in NPK we hadn't, they hadn't been able, sorry, I wasn't a part of it the first two seasons, but uh, they hadn't been able to do it. Um, you know, the first year, well, Birdman won it the first year, I think, or Larson, and then and then Birdman, yeah, Murillo. So the 405 had yet to secure a, uh, a championship in MPK, and Ryan was you know, working his ass off to try and get that championship. So there was a lot on the line for a lot of the guys. And, you know, bottom line is we just didn't fucking do it. It sucks. It hurts. Whatever you guys, everybody in the fucking internet world can call me a pussy or say that I was scared or that, uh, you know, whatever, but I'm damn sure not going to tell you that I wasn't invited or that I wasn't allowed to go because that's straight bullshit. Mm -hmm. you know? I could have gone to that race if I if I wanted to. I could have been there. 